Hi everyone, welcome back to the next part of the van build. Today we're doing the floor, so let me show you what we've got going. Uh, it's a windy day, so I'm afraid you're just going to get wind noise and there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, we've got two 3 8 inch pieces of ACX plywood laid on the ground. You can see them, just barely see them here overlapped. So that's ACX plywood here. That'll confuse you. So there it is. So we're, so that when we do this, we're going to cut around. This is a, a mat that came fact from the factory with the van. So we got a template. We, we are very lucky that we have this template with everything cut out. So we're just going to, we're just going to, uh, with our knives, on this sheet of linoleum, trace around this. Just trace around this and go on and we will have cut that out. Uh, so, and that way we will have the linoleum. We're doing the linoleum first because the uh, plywood is underneath it. And uh, that way we won't be cutting into dirt and rocks with our, our razor blades. So the plywood's underneath it and the plywood is the bad side up. Because we will cut a groove into the plywood because we're going to be pressing against it. And because it's a windy day, we've clamped on this board just to keep the wind from blowing the, the, the uh, template away. This sheet of, of uh, linoleum I bought from uh, Ace Hardware here in Blythe. It was going to be about 50 bucks, but it's damaged. On this end, uh, they, it was exposed to the weather. It's got some, I doubt you can see that, but it's got, well, you can see, probably see this corner. It's chewed up. And it's got some uh, weather, uh, rain damage uh, on it, and it has two rips. Let's see if I can show you the rips. So it's got these rips in it. So that made this much less valuable. So I think it was 50 bucks. See? But as you can see, from here on in, there are no rips. There's just water damage at the end. And I should, we should be able to easily able to cut this amount out of it and uh, get the, uh, all we need with virtually no damage, nearly perfect. And he gave me about 30 bucks off. So this sheet of linoleum is going to cost about 30 bucks and it'll meet our needs and that's just about perfect. When we've done with cutting out the linoleum, we'll set it aside and we'll cut the plywood and then we'll show you how we cut the plywood at that time. Alrighty, so we'll keep moving. Alright, so I'm going to show you the, uh, the uh, cutting the linoleum. It's just as simple as simple can be. Now, let me be perfectly honest. I had an interruption and Terry did all this. So this is strictly staged. Terry did all this. No, it's but not. You're I'm going to show part. off and like I did the work. You're doing the last part. I saved it for you. Yes, he saved the last work. For me. So it, it really, it, of course, it's a razor knife, so you want to be careful with it. You don't need to press hard. Or uh, just keep it butted up close to the um, So that's all free, and you can see we're cutting over plywood and here over a piece of cardboard so that we're not cutting down into the rocks. And uh, I'll do this. Now this piece is just completely free and clear. It does. This is the piece with the rips in it, and uh, hopefully we've got a good template. This just drops right in and and looks really good. Now we have a long straight cut because it's about an inch too long, and we're going to use a straight edge. Whenever you possible, you want to use a straight edge to get uh, to get 
a straight edge. I mean, you can freehand, and freehand would probably be just fine, and will be just fine, but a straight edge will always do better. So we'll pull off the clamps. Okay, so um, I've got this straight edge lined up. I'm just... I'm just... Uh, I'm not sure I'm getting down. I'm not cutting. Nickel waiting on a dime here. I think we're... I'm not cutting. Is your blade all the way down? Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Good. So there you have it. We've cut out the. Uh, we've used this as a template. Cut it out. Uh, next, we will turn the um, the uh, plywood over and lay the template on it and and uh, mark the plywood and then the, use the jigsaw because all these little curves. You know, so many. Uh, we'll use the jigsaw on all the curves and a, a skill saw on all of the uh, straight edges. So now what we're doing is we want this center to be, when that center piece, it, these are only four foot wide. Plywood's only four foot wide, the van's six foot wide. So you have to have one full sheet and one a partial sheet. Well, you want the center cut, this one down the middle, to butt perfectly. And then, so you only cut on the outside edges. And you get as close as you can to one straight factory edge, which would be uh, this one. So this one has got the most straight edges, so we don't have to cut those. All we have to do is cut out these with the jigsaw. So this straight edge will be on a straight edge. That's the idea. Okay, so the next uh, item of business is to uh, throw the template over the two pieces of plywood, line them up so that all the corners and lines are butted each other nicely, which we've done here. Now what we did was one of these pieces of plywood is going to be four foot, and one of these pieces of plywood is going to be around two feet. Well, we wanted the four feet point to be as far away from the door as possible because that's going to be a stress point on the joint. So you can see the joint is here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but this is the joint, the, and it will be about here. And this is the gas filler. You can see on most vans the gas filler is on the driver's side. So this is the driver's side. This is the entry step. So I would step up on that when I go in. So when you step up, you'll have the most uh, piece of plywood possible uh, on the other side. And it will be hidden. That side will be mostly hidden by shelving, and the back will be hidden by the bed. So we'll use a straight edge to mark it. And then we will get it ready to cut with the jigsaw and the skill saw. Skill saw and all the straight edges, because you can you can cut a much sharper straight line with a uh, with a skill saw than you can with with a uh, jigsaw. Terry's very very good with both, but still, I mean, it's just easier to do it with a um, skill saw than a jigsaw. And the straight edge is always critical. Straight edge gives you a good straight edge that you won't get by hand, no matter how good you are. So the key thing is with this plywood, you just throw it on the ground, you climb on, and you start to work. Now that won't work when you're cutting the plywood, and what we'll do then, well, we have a bunch of tables here, so we're actually going to do some of the, a lot of the cutting up on the tables because that makes life just easier rather than crawling around on your knees. But what we'll do is we will. Uh, put uh, two by fours. I have three two by fours and some others and we'll put them underneath. That will move the plywood up off the ground so the blade doesn't hit the ground. And that's what you will do if you don't have a bunch of tables. And we'll show you that when we get there. Right now we're just marking it so that uh, we can do the um, cutting. So you can see I'm ready. I'm going to cut this uh, piece of plywood and I've got these three two by fours and I, you can see the line I'm following. So I'm going to crawl along, so with my weight on these two 2x4s, two and this one just holds it up. That's the whole idea. 
and I'm just going to freehand this because I don't really care. <laughs> Nice job, Bob. So there's a long cut, and now we'll need to uh, just take the jigsaw and jigsaw these out, and we'll show you that next. Okay, so now we're going to do the exact same thing, and the most important thing you can do is to check your blade depth so you're not going to be destroying your blade. It's no big deal, but you don't want to do it if you can possibly avoid it. So you check your blade depth to make sure and you clear out any big rocks that might get in the way. And then you just climb on. Now Terry's the master at this. I don't want you to give you the impression I do all this. Terry does all of it, and he does all of it better. I'm showing off. That's all. You see, it's a, it's a series of forward and back. If you're curved and you can't quite make the curve, you back off, you go in again and cut out a little more. And so it's, it's really the jigsaw. The key thing is slow and steady and being more than willing to back off, go forward, back off, go forward. Okay, so you can see I started to get drift off the line. Well, I just backed off and I'll start in again and this time I'll get it. Hopefully, <laughs> maybe, we'll see. <laughs> All, all power tools, the blade with cutting needs the blade needs to be running before it hits the wood, or you'll uh, it'll stop. So that's the best I can do it, and it's not bad for my purposes. It's just fine. Uh, we'll do the next one and uh, all the others, and we'll call it plenty good enough. So welcome back everyone. I showed you the elaborate process we went through when we had the rubber mat and we cut around it. We, brought, <laughs> we didn't do any dry fitting. We bring it in, we lay it down, it's nowhere near right. What turns out is they, it wasn't even with two or three inches on any dimensions. It wasn't square. Nothing fit. So we threw that out and started all over. What a nightmare that turned out to be. So basically we started from scratch, although it did give us a few of the basic layouts. So we ended up just doing the whole job, and it took a whole day. It took I, it took the whole day, wouldn't you say, Terry, yesterday, yeah. to, yeah. to get that all cut, and we finished it off. But we, So, you know, you just got to cut around this uh, for the plywood, and, and it's got all this gum. We were just calling it gum. We're not, we tried to cut it out, but it was too much of a mess to, to try and cut it out. So we, we, we just went around the gum, and you can see... Uh, a lot of gum in here. We just went around it back here. So it's just notches, and uh, the bed is going to go across the back, and so you won't see either of the wheel wells, uh, any of this, because the bed's four foot deep, and you're not going to see any of that. So I didn't care, but everything fit here well, and all this was a, was a job, a chore. These two are still the factory edge. That's really important, something we really wanted to accomplish was to have this factory, these three are factory edges, which means they're straight, because uh, you're going to be walking on them. When we cut the linoleum, we, we, and the same thing with the linoleum, we'd already pre-cut it, and so it was a nightmare too, and then we, but it's so easy to cut with a razor knife, it's so thin that we, we did manage to get it cut, not too much problem. It was a long, hard day, wouldn't you say that, Terry? Well, we're moving forward now. We're moving forward. The floor is done. Uh, we will glue it down, but we don't want to do it until the rest of the construction is done. The, the linoleum is so thin that uh, uh, I, we're afraid we're, we'll rip it apart by, by working on it with tools and, and more lumber. So that will be the very last thing we do. Bef well, it can't be the very last thing because 
the shelving in the bed has to go on top of it, so we'll wait. That'll have to be done before then. Uh, and I wish I had bought a better, thicker piece of linoleum in retrospect. I'm almost tempted. We have this one cut perfectly. I'm almost tempted to go buy a better piece because I can just see this thing ripping to pieces over time. Do you think I'm exaggerating? I don't know. We'll see. We'll I think, see. I think once, if you glue it down, it'll be fine. And I'm going to always have area rugs for the main walkways. You'll be surprised how a little last. Okay. You, yeah. Okay. Because you're only going to walk. That's why everyone buys linoleum. You're going to walk on a little part of it anyway. Right. Uh, yeah, they're only going to be this. And that's why people buy linoleum is because it's durable. But I, this is the first time I've ever worked with linoleum. So that was it. The, the floor, the, this is the plywood. Well, let's go outside and I'll show you the, um, the linoleum. We've cut it. We've pulled it out just so it won't be in the way. So you can see it was just a matter of... Um, well, I'd have to show you why we did this, but the gas and around gum, around ribs, the wheel well, the wheel well, and then the step. It was just a matter of uh, templates and cutting and trial and error. It just got it got done, though. So if this is all done. The floor is done, not attached, but done. So that's for another day. Okay, so that's it. We'll move on. Uh, we'll, i got to go into town today and buy the... Um, a uh, little last sheet of insulation because we we didn't have one, I didn't buy one I need one more sheet of insulation. Yeah, the insulation goes up and we will be ready to go. Put the paneling in the roof and we'll be basically done tomorrow because I'm gonna I'm busy all day today. I think tomorrow we'll be done and ready to move into the interior. And it'll have been a week. I think it will have taken us a week to do this whole inside floor insulation paneling. So that's not bad. I think that's pretty good work. Uh, pretty fast, and it's done better than I would have done it because Terry is Terry is, likes to do good work, <laughs> and I and and I think it is good work. I'm really extremely pleased with it. And, uh, so that's it. That's today's report. The floor is done. The linoleum will go down uh, uh, as late as possible, and then we'll move on. So I'll see you later in the next video.